Spider-Gwen and Miles continue their adventure, which will lead them into a passionate kiss. Hey, I'm Brian from BMA Comics Con. Let's review Spider-Gwen number 17, part 4 of Kissing in a Tree, previously on Kissing in a Tree. The story is told through flashbacks as Miles Morales is telling his best friends and roommates about how he kissed Spider-Gwen and the adventure that led up to it. His father rejoined S.H.I.E.L.D. and was sent on an interdimensional mission, and now S.H.I.E.L.D. is unofficially sending Miles Morales slash Spider-Man after him to find his father. He ends up on Earth-65 where Gwen Stacy is Spider-Woman, but we know her as Spider-Gwen. They get their first lead from Matt Murdock, the leader of The Hand, a ninja group, and he sends them to kill Miles' father because he's a bad guy who is overstepping his bounds. When they find him, he attacks, and after beating on Miles and Spider-Gwen, the cops get involved and he is caught. Just before the cops get Spider-Man and Spider-Gwen, they activate their interdimensional transporter, and this is where they land. A group of Silk agents' robbery attempt is foiled by your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. He doesn't stick around, he just webs them up, and that's when Spider-Gwen and Miles show up. They find the men tied up and attempt to question them, but they refuse to talk. But their intended loot is sitting right there in front of them. Batteries. Before the cops come to arrest the men, they disappear due to their interdimensional teleporter. So Miles and Gwen Stacy flee as they don't want to be the only ones at the scene of a crime. They take a moment to think about the clues to try to solve this mystery. And Gwen comes up with the theory that the bad guys don't have a proper teleporter. That's why they're going between dimensions and stealing batteries to operate the teleporter and items to sell for more money to properly build new teleporters. Just then, Kamala Khan aka Miss Marvel finds them and Miles hides. With an awkward confrontation, Miles tells Miss Marvel that he's not teaming up with Spider-Gwen and they have spider-related problems they have to solve. It's a spider team up if anything. But, instead of playing along, Spider-Gwen invites Miss Marvel to come along and help them out. So, they head to the likely battery target that the Silk Agents will want to rob. As they get there, they see the Silk Agents planning their robbery. So the heroes do what heroes do, and try to stop them. But, as the bad guys begin to make their escape, Miles follows them through the portal. For, he does not want to give up on finding his father or because he doesn't want to have to deal with the awkward situation of him with Spider-Gwen and Miss Marvel. But just before this issue finishes, Spider-Gwen jumps in after Miles. Where is Miles' real father in all of this? Does Miles really have a chance with either Miss Marvel or Spider-Gwen? When are we going to get the kiss? These are the questions I have for the next issue. All in all, I'm happy with this story. I like both Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen. I can't wait to see how it ends. The art styles between Spider-Gwen's book and Spider-Man's are very different, but I don't find it distracting. I just appreciate the different styles. I'm probably going to do a recap of the story once it finishes, since I didn't start my reviews from the beginning. Please, let me know what you thought of this issue down below in the comments. Please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Brian out.